Hi, we've got a uh, simple but important um, set of tasks today and starting this week we're going to actually work some more on your game. So we have a, a one short exercise today and, and then, uh, and then the, the next two sessions we'll be um, working on your game. So last week you learned how to use the design recipe to solve word problems and you practiced using the design recipe to write computer programs to solve several different word problems. You were also introduced to using the design recipe with algebra notation and you watched me work through a more difficult problem using algebra notation. Today we're going to talk about the, the process of finding bugs. Um, we also already talked about the, the fact that in computer programming errors aren't really a problem. They are just part of the discovery process of, of creating a new program and learning how it works and making sure that it works correctly. But, um, um, you know, making mistakes or even um, trying things and getting errors is really no big deal. Um, it's just part of the process. But another part of the process is that sometimes we have mistakes in our code that um, we can't find right away. It's, it's, it's hard to find where they are. They're causing unexpected problems and traditionally in computer programming those are called bugs and so sometimes we have to go bug hunting or do debugging. So debugging is finding and correcting problems in your code. So um, today we're going to open up a um, specific um, program that they used uh, or that they've set up for us. So let's go into Dr. Racket and open to the source file. So let me go up a little bit to make sure. I think yours looks like this. Or we have courses, BS1. Um, sorry, that was wrong. Resources. Source files. All right, right so it's the same place where our game, game file is. Um, let's do bugs. Now they, in the notes, they said run after, click run and then check each one except there's a syntax error later that that makes it so that you really can't run it in that order so let's do it in a different order um let's see when i open that up the def the interactions window didn't show up um, but i'm going into the view menu and choosing show interaction so i get the normal screen so if you have any trouble with that let me know um, but let's do this interactively they call, we call it so um, let's do it interactively one um, phrase at a time in here. So I'll do a couple and then you can do the rest and then when you get done you should be able to hit run and get a bunch of output with no errors. So let's just copy this guy down to the interactive window. Star 3. This function is not defined. So I'm think so one one problem with with bugs especially somebody else's bugs is you can't exactly tell what they meant to do so we're just going to have to guess of what they meant to do um, in order to correct these and my guess is um, that they didn't really mean to find a function called star 3 they meant to multiply 3 times 2 so I'm going to go up here and change put that space in there and now paste it in I get six, so let's leave that. We'll say that's fixed. All right, here's the second one. Function call. Expected a function after the opening parentheses, but found a number. So again, it's hard to tell exactly what they mean to do here, but I think they don't mean a function called two. I think they just mean the number two. So I'm just going to take those parentheses away. And then something else that bugs me but doesn't matter is there's two spaces here after the operation. So I'm just going to move that so it just looks like a normal 1 plus 2. I'll copy that, paste it in, and get 3. So you go ahead and do the rest of these. Um, when you get done, you can just do File, Save. Um, or if File, Save As, and you can take, make it a different name. But if you do File, Save, it'll just save it into the same file name bugs.rkt and um, so do all of the ones that are on here 
and then uh, after you test them and fix them you should be able to hit run and run all the way through and not get any errors if you get any errors just read the message and fix the error that is found if you have any trouble let me know um, so go ahead and pause right now and do that okay if you're back after fixing that um, next time uh, in the next lesson um, you'll begin to animate the target and danger objects in your ninja cat game and we'll also start talking about um, your images that you're going to use uh, for uh, the different parts of your game <laughs>